No, it's a scheme that would make the fictional pirate Jack Sparrow jealous. Hackers have gotten a hold of Disney's next blockbuster, the latest installment of Pirates of the Caribbean. They are holding it hostage until the studio pays them a ransom in bitcoins. Now, the movie itself is due out in theatres at the end of this month. The hackers are threatening to release the film in 20-minute increments if Disney doesn't meet their demands. The chief executive, Bob Iger, says he won't pay. Dylan Byers is in Los Angeles. Um, this is very interesting, isn't it? I mean, he won't pay, so the movie may get released in little bits. Well, here's what we know. What we know is that Bob Iger, head of Disney, was in a uh, meeting with ABC staffers in New York ahead, of course, of the upfronts that happen this time of year every year in the television industry. And what he said is that these hackers had claimed to have stolen a film. He didn't say which film it was, but of course all reporting indicating that it is Pirates of the Caribbean would, as you have pointed out, be very fitting for uh, the pirated movie to be Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, and what he said is that they have not paid any ransom despite the demands of these hackers for a ransom. So that leaves some questions out there. Among the questions are, do these hackers actually have the film? Or are they making an empty threat? The second question is, what steps is Disney going to take uh, in order to protect its asset? The, the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise is, of course, a major right. asset for Disney. And, and I will say this, they are working, what we do know is that Disney is working with federal authorities, but where the, where the federal authorities are on this so far, you know, that remains unclear. Of course, it's not the first time Orange is the New Black got, uh, got powered. So, so there have been cases, in that case it was a straightforward hack and a release. We don't know whether that was a ransom um, that, that was on the way. You'll correct me if I'm, I'm wrong. This is sort of one of the first cases where they've been threatened with a ransom demand. It's, I mean, it's difficult for the company to know what to do, but at the same time, if they were to pay, it would be opening them up to all sorts of future, uh, all sorts of future threats. That's absolutely right, and I would, I, would, I would guess, and again, only a guess, but I would guess that the federal authorities are suggesting not to pay any sort of ransom here for precisely the reason you were bringing up. But yes, the, the issue of hacking, we think about it so often in terms of politics. We certainly think about it in terms of the financial sector. It is an enormous concern for the entertainment sector. It was in the case of Netflix's Orange is the New Black. On an even bigger scale, it was in terms of the hacking uh, of Sony and all of the emails that came out uh, from the Sony hack and, and, and what that did, uh, not just for the company, but for some executives who were ultimately forced to resign because uh, of information, right. their private emails, which were made public. We saw a similar thing happen here with the United Talent Agency, a, a powerful uh, a talent agency here in Los Angeles. So look, this is increasingly a, a, a concern, and I think everyone in the industry, as in the finance industry, as in politics, knows that they're going to have to be greater uh, security steps taken in order to pr protect their information and protect their assets. To the buyers who is in Los Angeles tonight. Thank you, sir. Now, if Thanks, ne never mind hacking, if legal downloads are more your thing, you can download our show as a podcast. It's available at all the usual main providers, such as iTunes and Stitcher, and cnn.com slash podcast. Twitter's announced a high-profile hack.